Hi, in this episode of the Professor Adolf Neto podcast, the first one fully in English, I interviewed Ivan Alvarez, a software developer in Mexico. He currently is a team lead at Resuelve to Delta. We talked about his history as a software developer and many topics related to Elixir. Hi, my name is Adolfo Neto. I'm a professor at the Federal University of Technology, Paraná. And today I'm here with Ivan Alvarez, and he's a software engineer at Resuelve to Delta yeah. from yeah. Mexico City. So thank you for being here, Ivan. And could you please present yourself? Sure. Uh, hi, Adolfo. My name is Ivan Alvarez. I'm a software engineer here in Mexico, in Mexico City, uh, and I'm currently work in this company, Resolve to Deuda. I'm part of the core team that is developing, well, one of the of the most important uh, component that we will use for for all the systems. So that's that's my, well, I'm a senior engineer there. And uh, what else? This this system, as I told you, is the main is the main components, and we have many other uh, like satellite satellite components that we that they use our APIs in order to complete a certain tasks. For example, a CRM, uh, or for example, what could I tell you? Well, some some tasks that needs a lot of information. So all the main stuff, as it says, because it's the, it's the, it's the core is the is the main the main component uh, needs uh, if the if some other system needs information about about the very important information maybe from the client and mainly from uh, contracts it is bas basically the the most important part of this uh, component they ask ask us about this kind of information and we provide some apis some some of them are in in rest and some of them are in, in, in GraphQL. But uh, this company, first, yeah. is it a Mexican company? Yeah, it's, it's a Mexican company who has presence in, in some countries. For example, it began here in Mexico City, but it, uh, it expanded to, to Colombia. To, uh, after Colombia, uh, they try Argentina because uh, I, at that moment, I didn't work there. As I said, Colombia, Argentina, Right now, Argentina, okay, they are not, uh, they closed it because, you know, the, the economy of Argentina with some problems. And after that, uh, they they go, they go went to Spain and the, the Spain and also the last year in 2021, like we received an uh, inversion from the investors, if I don't remember bad, the name is uh, um, Bolt. Vulcan, Vulcan, Vulcan is our investors. So they they invest like um, eighty million dollars, and with that support, we could open Italy, uh, Portugal, and at this moment in the in January, uh, we begin uh, operations in in Brazil. Oh, that's great, Brazil. Yeah. And a little bit more about you. You yeah. you wrote here that you study computer science yeah, in right. Mexico City at Tecnológico de Monterrey Campus Ciudad de México. So yeah. it's it's the Instituto Tecnológico de Monterrey. Monterrey is yeah. another city, right? Yeah, it's it's a city in the north. It's a very industrialized uh, city. It's you know it's very curious because uh, like the the world is like uh, in the north. Well, I, I I have seen I have read like in the north there are many like the the most uh, states or districts uh, very uh, with a lot of technology or very uh, de developed I could say and in the south it's it's the contrast there are not so uh, techno there are not so 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 um, with a lot of technology <laughs> it happens here in Mexico uh, in Monterrey uh, they have a lot of a lot of companies there. And well, the, this institute, uh, the Te Tecnológico de Monterrey, they um, they are from from that part of the of the country, but they have uh, many camp many campus. They have we are in Mexico, 32 uh, states, 
And uh, one of them is in Mexico City. I studied in, in the Mexico City uh, campus in Ciudad de Mexico. Uh, but the main, the main campus, uh, I could say the, the biggest one is in, in Monterrey because the idea to, to develop, uh, like, um, the idea behind of this institute was to, to, to create engineers for people who have uh, big companies and they say like uh, we need we need engineers or we need uh, very people with 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 uh, skills very high so they say why not create a um, a school with with a with high very high level of of uh, how could say what how could I say um, with a lot of expectations so they take uh, like they they took universities like Stanford or Harvard, or they try to, to get kind of this quality of education and they try to implement it here in, in technological, technological Monterey. Um, yes, I, I, here in Brazil, I have maybe read about the institute. It's institute. Easy. Yeah, right. It's quite famous. And when did you start programming? Because let me understand, you are studying computer science right now. So if you are studying computer science, you learned programming before entering the university. Yes. How was begun all this stuff about programming? Um, when, I was, uh, when I was 12, I think so, I took a workshop in, in the high school. Uh, it was the workshop about programming. And I learned in that uh, workshop uh, Pascal, and I like it. I like, like I in a previous in like uh, two years before this workshop, I also I like it as a child to 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 use. Well, I like um, to play gorilla. So it's a very old game. So you have to use the biscuits, I, these floppy disks, uh, in order to to run gorilla. And well, my father had had a laptop and and I used to to use as I told you the put the floppy disk there and run with some commands the, the gorilla game and that was maybe the the first approach uh, to you know to 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 write some some command line in order to run gorilla and and that was the first approach and in high school as I told you uh, I said I like computers why not uh, to 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 try what what is what is this about? My professors, uh, I could say, they were maybe not that good as I could uh, expect. But uh, I, I like to to how could I say? I like to to create with these comments something. I I like it to create some some something. You know, uh, I was uh, in, in that moment. I could say, okay, I. With this command, with print or with uh, very basic commands, uh, I could say to the to the machine what to do, and and that was uh, my first really approach in order to 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 program with with Pascal many many years ago. So we got to know each other on I oh. believe it was Code Being America, right? Right. Yes. 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 Twenty 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 one. So yeah. we are we are part of the larger. Erlang ecosystem community, which includes Erlang and Elixir, but uh, I, I believe you are more interested in Elixir than in any other Bing language. Am I right? Uh, yes, I have a background in many languages uh, because uh, I'm 42. I'm 42, so my journey began when I was before I was 20. Uh, when I was 20, I was in a, an interchange. In Seattle, I had the opportunity to go there because of my school. Um, so I, I worked for a company there, like an interchange of three months. And at that moment, imagine at that moment, I I, I worked with uh, with Java, with Enterprise Java, Gateway, Enterprise Java Beans, and very uh, old technology, very, old, very legacy technology. And from that moment, uh, I learned. Uh, well, I, my preferred uh, language at that moment was Java. I graduate. Uh, I begin to 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 work. I use uh, Java main well mainly mainly uh, sometimes .NET with C sharp. And after that, I uh, try R Ruby a bit of Ruby. And and on when all all those those uh, languages are uh, mainly for the backend, I could say. 
Um, uh, and also uh, I work at the Mexican stock market. And uh, in, that, in that job, I, I work with Java in the back end and a technology from Adobe Systems. The name was Flex. Maybe you, well, don't, not so much people know that kind of technology, but it was uh, very, uh, well, I like it so much because uh, I'm very visual. So uh, my job there was to create uh, dashboards. Uh, at that moment, there was a concept, a concept, a term, the rich internet applications. They use a flash as the base, um, as the base uh, technology. And, and Flex was the, the enterprise, I could say the enterprise uh, version of, of, this, uh, of this technology. And with this technology, uh, we combined Flex uh, in order to develop the dashboards. Um, dashboards, you know, uh, in, in real time, for example, uh, what, what is at this moment the, the live views with the sockets and with the web sockets. Uh, at that moment, imagine in 2009, uh, I was working there, and we received uh, so many information from the from the from from Chicago from the uh, market uh, from Chicago using GMS. So I received all that information in real time with 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 uh, this technology, the Java Message Services. So I receive it, and I and I I create the dashboards in order to see you know the portfolios. And how um, you you well the, the people inside the, the Mexican stock market uh, they could um, they could see how how certain um, certain uh, information how it behaves and I like it so much uh, the the visual things I, I as I told you but the great problem was uh, it was internal no it was only for the for the for the guys of the of the. Mexican stock market, so my 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 work uh, only only uh, lived there. So uh, with that in mind, I said uh, in that time also um, uh, the, the iPhone comes to the scene, and I said oh that would be a great opportunity in order to to be like um, well to show to the world uh, what I'm doing because um, you know you have a mobile. You have a device with a lot of 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 of, of, of potential, and I say uh, I want to I want to develop for that platform. Uh, I want the people uh, I want the people uh, see what I what I have done because in the back end it's very difficult to to maybe to not to be recognized or but uh, <laughs> only when something fails they they say like uh, what's happening here now. Uh, something is wrong, and uh, maybe the the front end is it's so good, it's so beautiful, but if the back end uh, it doesn't work, uh, you know the alarms and uh, call nine one one because it's not working. So with that in mind, um, I switch. I decide to switch to to begin to to learn uh, Objective C, and that moment was two thousand eleven. Uh, 2011. So with some friends, I decided to go to the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and and we well we well we went there, and we see a lot of mobile. Uh, well, you know that event it's specialized to present like the 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 most recent uh, innovation technology and all the all the um, all the vendors like Nokia, like uh, well <laughs> uh, Apple. Apple never goes there now. They have uh, his own event. So, um, well, I we, we learn um, so many things there. We come back to Mexico and also with with these guys that we that I um, travel, we decide to 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 completely com completely um, uh, learn about how to develop a mobile application. So in that moment, Objective C was the the only the only option. In order to develop uh, an iOS application, so uh, the the best resource at that moment, in order to learn, uh, I could say like the, from the source was a company, uh, a, a US company. The name is Bigner Ranch. Uh, Aaron Hillegas, 
this guy is um is a, an ex Apple employee. So he he in in Apple uh, his role was uh, like the like create uh, documentation. So he was he was very good uh, teaching the, the guys inside Apple about how it works. Uh, well, how Objective C works. How about the the how how the frameworks the main frameworks works in order to develop uh, iOS applications. So uh, he saw like uh, an opportunity. He began his own company. So uh, it, it's very uh, uh, like a funny. Uh, the name is Bigner Ranch, but he has a like a very large hat, and it's it's quite quite funny. And we we met those guys, and and they also well not they also they offer some kind of 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 training here in Mexico, and I don't think twice to take this this course. It was very expensive at that moment, uh, but I say uh, I have. I have uh, uh, like a great mentors from people who works at, at Apple, so it would be a great opportunity in order to 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 get uh, the most uh, the most uh, knowledge uh, what I the most knowledge I could get in a weekend because it was like a course from Monday at 7 a.m. until some Saturday at 6 p.m. It was. Uh, uh when when you finish the, the course in the recog- uh, in the um, how you say in the um, in the recognition uh, uh, paper that they gave you it says like uh, uh, Ivan Alvarez uh, learned uh, what he could learn in one week uh, about objective C and to develop iOS applications they're they're very good uh, teachers and they have uh, also uh, uh, grew Grow, grow, grow so much, and they they expand also from from uh, iOS also to Kotlin and also other technologies. And 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 what else? And finally, um, from 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 uh, from iOS, I like it. I like it uh, so much. And we have like a, a big surprise when when they say like uh, we have. Uh, one more thing. It was very, you know, with 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 Steve. It's uh, very, very uh, well. He has that that uh, phrase like, uh, "We're not finished. We have one more thing." And the one more thing, it was this new this new language, Swift. That it was like a changer, uh, a game changer, literally, because it uh, it provokes like uh, all the all the developers uh, were like in in zero because it was a, a new language uh, so you 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 couldn't say like uh, you have a uh, certain certain uh, experience in Swift because you know it it's uh, it's uh, being launched I don't remember exactly the the, the year maybe uh, it was uh, 2014 or 15 I don't remember no, I don't remember exactly the, the, the date, but um, it was terrible at first. Uh, it was like, uh, I, I don't want to remember, but it was so bad, so, so, so bad. Uh, really, companies like Facebook or, for example, at this moment, uh, Pinterest, also Spotify, the big companies, they say like, no, we are, we are not going to migrate our base code to Swift because it's not... Um, it's not mature at this moment, and five at this moment five uh, we, they, they are in the Swift five point five I think so or five point six, and until this moment uh, these kind of companies are are like like thinking like uh, okay the this language is mature and and at this moment we we could we could consider well they also not right not not at this moment but. I know that they are working also in, in me, me, not migrating, but the new features from these companies, they, they are using um, uh, this language uh, because uh, until this moment, or maybe one year ago, maybe two years ago, um, uh, I could say uh, it's, it's enough mature in, or, in order to, to, to use it in our production main main applications. So that could be like a, a very, well, a, 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 well, part of my journey since I, I began to, to study computer science. 
and the final the final uh, language is Elixir. You, you, sorry, you mean that the the well, last the, yeah the last language in your computer science course is Elixir? Ah no 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 not in my in my computer science. Uh, well, when I when I was studying, no 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 on the, at the school. The only language that I learned was Java and C. <laughs> That's the only the only languages that they uh, they uh, they used to 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 learn at the at the at the university. Yes, only only those C and Java. And I prefer to use Java, you know, because the garbage collection and many things that uh, you don't have to to do by itself using using C. I was also an assembler. <laughs> also, assembler. I, I used to to. I have a very good professor in assembler, and and I don't think so. What which uh, if if I learn another language? No, I don't think so. Like assembler, C, and and Java. Yeah, right. Yes, but you you wrote here in our show notes that mm -hmm. in in two thousand and twelve you were working in Haku, a yeah. company whose main Purpose was to promote emerging technology, and yes. you there you explored Elixir. Right? Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yes, first, uh, 2012 it was 10 years ago. Elixir was still on version 0. Point anything, uh, maybe yeah. 0. 0.5. Yeah, right. So, and the first question is oh, why? Why? Is it only because it was an emerging technology? Ah, yeah. Uh, my, my, I could say my mentors, people. One of the of the main uh, of the main, how could I say the main? Uh, what it mo motivates me to enter to this company was because the people who works there was very smart. Was very smart, and they have a lot of vision, and and they try uh, to use. Uh, uh, solutions different from the standard, you know. Uh, at that moment, in 2012, uh, Java was the king, and .NET, and, and you know, a lot of PHP. Um, I don't know, maybe I don't know exact, exactly. If, for example, Python or Django at that moment, or Rails at that moment. I don't think so. Well, I don't think so so much, but uh, no, yeah. I, I, I also, at, in that company, the name is Raku, Raku. Um, I also work in, at, in some time of, of the moment at that company, I, I work with Rails. So yeah, Rails at that moment, it exists, it, it was alive. Um, so um, they, uh, they try to experiment. They, they say like, uh, um, for certain cases, for certain use cases, we could use, you know, the the um, the right tool uh, to solve the right problem. So uh, that's why they they search they research for for some solutions like Go. Um, we use we use Go in a system in which uh, we have to process a lot of a lot of data, uh, but so so much data um, in in per second. I don't remember exactly the numbers, but for example, I could say like uh, three hundred. Uh, petitions per second. So Golang at that moment was a very good solution in order to process uh, this quantity of, of, of requests per second. And it was cool because uh, with Go, we, re we received this, this, uh, this first request. We, but we validate this information with Go. And if if it uh, if all the people if all the people if all the information was uh, was okay, we send it to 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 Elixir. Uh, at that moment, Cowboy it doesn't exist. I don't remember the the the, the server the web server that uh, at that moment uh, was the 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 web server. It was uh, obviously an uh, like an Erlang an Erlang server, but we we all the information we send it to 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 Elixir. And it works very well, very, very, very well. So as you said uh, correctly, at that moment, uh, Elixir, maybe it was not, uh, it was like uh, Elixir 0 0.8, 0 0.7 uh, at that years. And, and uh, we, we present this, this solution 
And the client said, I can believe it, it works. <laughs> and it works very, very well. So that was the spirit of this company to, to, to say like, okay, there is more than Java, there is more than PHP, there, there is more than on Rails. Rails is very productive, a very productive tool. But for these scenarios, uh, we have these tools, these tools, uh, these uh, these languages uh, like Go and, and, and Elixir. In, in it, it was very, um, it was very. Uh, I I don't rem I, I forgot the, the the name in English. Uh, it has a lot of potential at that moment, and 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 we uh, we we research uh, about Jose. He was working at uh, the company. Uh, the company he was working. Plat Plataforma Tech in São exactly. Paulo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was working there, and, and three years after that moment, I I left the company. I I uh, come back to 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 develop. Well, to continue my journey on on, on iOS uh, because I said like, uh, well, I is very not not so mature. Elixir. So to to get a job in, in in Elixir at that moment, it was not so easy. But I knew that uh, it solves problems, uh, very complex problems, uh, in a very good way. So three years later, in 2015, um, some friends, uh, some friends from Chihuahua, from in the north of Mexico, um, they also they were they used to work with me. Um, they say, uh, well, you know, we, we, we were in, in, in communication and, 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 and they say like, uh, Jose is going to present uh, in, in Austin, in Austin, Texas. So he's going to go, he, he went to the, the name of the event. I, it was uh, Lone Star, Lone Star and uh, Chihuahua from, from that, uh, from Austin is very, is very near like uh, an hour or two two hours so uh my my mentor the name is the name of this guy is, is norberto 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 ortigosa he said to 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 those uh, common friends um they say like do whatever you need to do in order to come to convince uh jose to come here to mexico uh, we uh we tell, tell him that we are like fans about what he have done with with this lang with this language, so this guy uh, Ricardo is the name of, of this of this friend. Um, ah, because he also Ricardo gave a, a a session in that event, so he was also with 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 Jose. He he met Jose and he convinced him to like like you know, uh, Jose is Mexico City is very near from 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 Austin. We we could pay you the the plane and the, the hotel. Give us one day or two, and you say, it's, uh, "I admire so much this guy." Uh, he said, "Yes, why not? Come, uh, I I will go to to Mexico City." So we we prepare like um, um, we used to to organize meetups uh, meetups uh, in, about different technologies, and and we prepare in in a, in a very uh, central oh in a very um, how could I say uh, in a very good place, uh, this this conference. Um, and, and let me see, let me see, because I'm I'm mixing a little bit. But no, we organized like a very uh, light conference. The name was Erlang so Erlang Factory Light. Yeah, Erlang. At that moment, they uh, in 2015 they used to 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 make an event, the Erlang the Erlang Factory events. But this one. Uh, we talk with these these guys from 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 Erlang, Erlang Factory, and we said like we tell them like uh, we're going to we convince uh, Jose to to go well to come here to Mexico. So we're gonna uh, 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 we're gonna uh, make a, a this event and and from so I told you from 2012 2000 to 2015 uh, like. Uh, uh, some, some, oh, um, some many, not so many, but the people who works on the company in Raku, uh, and and also like uh, we we begin to to like to spread the the word like hey th there is a, a a tool a language that is able to solve these kind of problems in a very good way. 
So for 2015, when when they listened that that Jose uh, uh, it was going to 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 be there, they say, yeah, right. Uh, I uh, I pay uh, the ticket and it was sold out. So like uh, 100 people uh, assist to the event and also Mexican guys uh, assist assist to this Erlon Factory light. And and in a previous day, uh, Jose was very kind with us because he he gave us like a, like a preview about the next the uh, the well the the next steps for 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 Elixir. I don't remember if in 2015 it was launched the Elixir 1.0. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I, maybe at that moment. Um, he, he, as I told you, he gave um, like an open session for whatever people who the, the people who wants to go to to watch the the, the the sessions. It was open, so yeah, it was full. The event was so 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 full. And the next, it, that, uh, that moment was Friday, and the the Erlan Factory Light uh, was on the weekend, on, on the weekend Saturday. Only it was only one day, um, and that was the moment when I when I say like uh, I need to decide to if I continue on my mobile on my mobile journey or 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 really really uh, I decide to come back to the back end. Um, and 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 learn this 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 technology because I like so much. Uh, they pres- at that moment, uh, Chris Chris McCord, uh, he has uh, wrote the the Phoenix Framework uh, book and also Jose. Uh, I remember bring some books and they and and I say uh, when when he shows us uh, you know all, all the all the all the the cool things that you could do with 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 Phoenix, I say like uh, uh, how is the how is the phrase in English? The um, I give you my money. I, I don't remember exactly. Like I was very excited about this this um, this a uh, new I could say new technology because I was very disappointed with the back end. I didn't like it so much Java and this enterprise stuff. Uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. That's why also. I move it to to the iOS to the to I, the iOS ecosystem. But when I saw when I saw uh, Jose, when I saw uh, my friends presenting um, uh, some stuff about tests, for example, the X unit test, X unit framework, and also the the OTP, what what it solves uh, out of the box. Uh, uh, Ricardo present uh, also the the same the same uh, session. That presents in the Lone, Lone Star conference. He presented here in, in the Erlang Factory uh, event, and it was like um, uh, the purpose of this. It was the purpose of this, uh, not the purpose. The objective of his conference was to demonstrate that uh, he could use uh, Raspberry in order to to set up a web server and also uh, imagine it was 2015, and it said like. Uh, my my website, my Ricardo, I, I, he's going to kill me. I don't remember his last name, but I don't know. Ricardo.com, it's running on that thirty dollars uh, machine, and it's uh, it it has a web server and it's and it's able to attend, uh, you know, a lot of petitions uh, with this little device. And when I saw all that all that um, all that cool cool all that cool features, I'd say. The future is there. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna, uh, like, uh, think to um, think and decide. Like, okay, maybe, maybe at this moment, uh, uh, iOS, uh, it pays the, the, the count, the, the, you know, the, the, the counts. Um, but for the future, uh, it will be like uh, not an error, but it would be a very good uh, bet. To, to to begin to to learn the functional paradigm. Okay, I, I have one more question about because we are near the end of this this episode, <laughs> and it's about the Mexican Elixir Erlang community. You yeah right. You, you mentioned Norbert Ortigoz. There is you. I I see there is. I I, I was I remember. I was not sure if Miguel Coba is Mexican, yeah, but uh, 
Yes, yeah. also yeah. Mm-hmm. Carlo, Carlo Gilmar works at Erlang mm-hmm. Solutions and... Ah, yeah, I, yeah. Ah, Carlo, Carlo, Carlo. Carlo Gilmar. Ah, yes. Gilmar. Yes, Gilmar, in, in yeah. Portuguese, yeah. it's a G sound is different. But, ah, yes, perfect. what's your view, if that's mm-hmm. possible, of the current state of the, the Elixir community in Mexico? It is, uh, well, this, um, this friend, uh, Norberto, he promotes so, 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 so much since, since that event, uh, Elixir, uh, almost every month. Well, we, uh, he opens the Meetup in the Meetup platform, uh, an Elixir group. And we, we had like a lot of good response at that moment. Uh, and like uh, six months after, after uh, open the, the Meetup, we were the second uh, biggest uh, Meetup in about Elixir in the world. Um, we, at that moment, uh, only the, the Berkeley, the Berkeley Meetup, because it was the university was the first one and and every every month he presents uh, two conferences and in the meetup like the Air, the elixir introduction about the language about the the beam and the main like the main features and also uh like a intermediate or advanced uh, conference um and as i told and as you told and well and, and what about uh, uh, what about the, the state um Many people uh, see uh, these these events, these meetups, and they they give a chance uh, uh, to say like, okay, Elixir, what is Elixir about? Uh, it's like Rails. Uh, it's very it's very 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 um, similar to Rails. But uh, Norberto said like, uh, okay, yes, maybe in syntax is very very similar, but it solves so many problems, difference, and the the real real. Um, the real, uh, like the power uh, behind Elixir is the beam. The beam, the this virtual machine that it it was developed by by you know uh, Robert and Robert and uh, Robert Berding and uh, and Joe Armstrong, part of the of the team that they developed. That was the the mainly the, well the main um, the main piece of, of software that it allows not only Elixir. Uh, and also other languages to to compile to, to the to the to the beam uh, that it allows us to 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 give us all, all the features that Elixir uh, is in, in which they in, in which Elixir shines. So so those guys um, say like uh, Carlo uh, Miguel is very recent. I didn't know about him because he's a Mexican, but he lives in Barcelona. But for example, uh, Eric, uh, Eric Camacho, uh, this guy, um, in his in his uh, startup, he he said like uh, we're going to use Elixir because it it shines. Um, he he take the, the risk uh, to say like uh, okay we're a startup we have a very you know very um, uh, like um, um, I could say. Uh, limited resources and also limited time in order to live. But with Elixir, uh, I, I guarantee to the founders, they say, he, he's, he told them that using Elixir, we are going to be like uh, in a very good, uh, we could scale, uh, we could scale. Um, there were like some very good examples using this technology. So, so um, mainly here in Mexico, the startups, uh, mainly the startups, they they are the ones that they are they are using Elixir because the big big companies maybe here well not maybe here in Mexico is very difficult that they adopt these these uh, technologies. Um, also, uh, uh, finally, in 2017, uh, I I decide to to go uh, full full uh, studied uh, in, in in the Elixir world. So I took some some courses with with, with Norberto. Uh, I, so I go back to work with, in his company, and he gave uh, uh, like uh, some courses, like uh, boot camps, very very like very heavy. He explains a lot of the a lot of the com- of the concepts about functional programming. Um, you know what about the the gen servers, supervisors, and and, and the the OTP options that you have 
the agents, and it was a lot of information, how the beam works, the schedule, and so many, so many things. Uh, but uh, the reality, uh, well, he, he has at, uh, at this moment also that company, the name is Bunsen, and they, they have the, the same idea to promote this kind of, of technology uh, um, well, for, for all the world, but, but, but only, uh, I could say, like the, the startups, they're the ones that say, okay, if that uh, technology works, uh, I'm going to bet about it. Because if we begin uh, with this kind of technology and we, uh, we grow so much, we, will, we won't have these uh, this scale, scalability problems and we could uh, maybe create, you know, uh, maybe clusters and all, 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 all the features that out of the box Elixir offers offers us. So uh, as, as I told you, mainly, mainly, mainly. Uh, ah, and also, well, on, on my company, that is a big one, a big, a big company. Uh, we are more than one thousand of, of of employees here. So we have uh, like uh, I could say more than 20 engineers who knows how to who to develop um, Elixir Elixir and we have learned uh, by, by ourselves Elixir. So um, all the systems that we that we have here in, in Resolve to Deuda are built in Elixir and, and the with different versions from 1.8 to 1.12, for example, the the newest, the newest, uh, the newest, um, uh, the newest projects, and and also also that begins five years ago when the C CTO of Resolve to Deuda saw saw that technology, and also is friend of 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 of, of Norberto, and he said like uh, for this fintech, this this stack, well, this uh, technology, Elixir it could work very well for us. And at this moment, we're, we're that one of the big advantages uh, for us at that moment, using this technology in order to scale and to go to other countries with not so much, uh, I could say, technology in the technological part is not so, so difficult to, to scale. Okay, Ivan, thank yep. you very much. And I'm going to leave or if anyone wants to ask you some other question, you have a LinkedIn profile. Yeah, right, right. Sure, sure. And also Twitter. It's, yeah. It's, it's funny because it's Ivan Yoé, which yeah. is, I believe it's, it's a, a biblical biblical name, right? Ivan Ho, Ivan Ho, it's the name of, um, of um, um, in the... Um, Cruzadas, um, yes, it's, it's it's something related with a um, with a knight, uh, a knight, I, Ivanhoe. Yes. Yes, yes. And uh, now uh, it's not biblical, so sorry. It's a romance by Walter Scott, a historical novel. Yeah, it's a novel. It's a novel. It's a book. Yeah. About Published in a knight. Yeah, I like it. Yes. Yeah, I like it. My well, my name is Ivan. Well, Ivan Ivan in, in Spanish. Uh, but yeah, yes, but but the the, the funny part is that. Yes. You you got that handle right because yeah, you right. joined Twitter in 2007, so it yeah. was a long time ago. I, I had, yeah, I, I'm I'm an early adopter of, of many of many things, and when Twitter uh, you know appears, I used to I used to, to to use the name of other tool. The name was Jaiku. It was better than Twitter, but Twitter has something like I don't know maybe better marketing and i say yeah i'm gonna use it uh, uh i'm gonna take that that <laughs> that that username and yes it was like a twitter at that moment maybe 2007 or like a previous year uh twitter twitter appears yes yes because my name is adolfo neto and uh -huh. every almost every social network uh, i i, I was too late <laughs> so so yeah. It was too late for me. Some other Adolfo Neto, probably in a Spanish-speaking country, because yeah. I believe it's Adolfo is more common in Spanish-speaking countries Spanish. than, than in Brazil. In Brazil, it's a very rare name, ah, first yeah. name. Yeah, okay. but, but, but then I was able to 
to remove the E and the O. And so my handle on Instagram, on uh -huh. Twitter is Adolfo NT. So the N uh, and the T. Yeah, that was the solution. Yes, but okay. not, not the best solution, but that's what I could do. Thank yeah. you very much again. No, uh, it was a pleasure. I... It has been a pleasure to talk with you, uh, Adolfo. And uh, I would say, like, um, uh, you're a very, uh, very active person uh, promoting Elixir, Erlang, and I like so much uh, the, the the effort that you that you are doing and promoting uh, this platform. And I could say, bravo, my friend! Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I say to everyone who is either watching or listening to us, bye bye. See you later. Oh, oh. See you later. Thank you very much for listening to the Professor Adolfo Net podcast. You can find more information about my guest and myself in the episode description. Bye bye. <laughs>